more than two millennia. History of Yunani goes that far. Though known as Yunani medicine, this system of medicine was originally adopted by Greeks from Egyptian and Mesopotamian civilizations. After the collapse of Greco-Roman civilization, the vast Arabic-speaking world of the Middle Ages rendered great services to the mankind by its scientific and medical achievements. The Arabian physicians performed critical study of the inherited medical knowledge, carried out their own philosophic and scientific researches, and made original additions to it. The Yunani system of medicine came to India in the 8th century and developed as a comprehensive medical system due to multi-pronged original contribution and new applications by scholars and successive generations. So sooner the Arabs and Iranians brought the Yunani system of medicine to India, it took firm roots in the soil. The Sultans of Delhi and the Mughal emperors provided state patronage to the scholars and even enrolled some as state employees and court physicians. The system found immediate favor with the masses and soon spread all over the country. Among those who made valuable contributions to the system in the period were Bawa bin Khwaz Khan, Ali Jilani, Akbar Arzani, Muhammad Hashim Alvi Khan and Hakim Azam Khan. Setback came with the British trying to push their system of treatment and obviously ending patronage to Yunani system. While hurdles remain, the Sharifi family of Delhi, the Azizi family of Lucknow and Nizam of Hyderabad played a significant role in the development of Yunani system of medicine during the 19th and the early 20th century. Now before moving to modern days of Yunani system of medicine in India, let's look at how it works. This diagram gives a clearer picture of basics of Yunani system of medicine. Every individual has a unique humoral composition which represents his specific temperament. All human beings are accordingly classified on the basis of the dominant humor into Damwi, that is sanguine, Balgami, phlegmatic, Safravi, choleric, and Saudavi, that is melancholic. The gross deviation from this unique balance due to any cause is disease. The disease can be classified according to the abnormally dominant humor. The correction of imbalance by applying drugs and other factors having the opposite temperament results in cure. Coming to post-independence scenario of Yunani system of medicine in India, it got full backing of the government. Obviously, the system flourished and touched new horizons. Indeed, government support proved a boon for Yunani as today it is an integral part of the national healthcare delivery system led by a number of initiatives taken by the Ministry of Ayush. India has become a world leader with the largest infrastructure and network of educational, research and healthcare institutions. Spread all over the country, this system of medicine can boast of many educational institutes, hospitals and modern industries to match the best in any system of medicine. Currently, importing education in Yunani medicine, there are about 52 colleges, including 14 of them having PG courses. Besides PhD research scholars, these colleges also have a total intake of 2,675 students for graduate courses and 202 for postgraduate ones. Also, over 500 pharmaceutical companies employ modern means to produce medicines. Modern-day Indian Yunani picture would be incomplete unless included the late 19th century major flip to Yunani, which came from an outstanding physician and scholar of Yunani medicine, Hakim Ajmal Khan, who championed the cause of the Yunani system in India. Hindustani Dawakhana and Ayurvedic and Yunani Tibia College in Delhi are the two living examples of his passion. This college was established to modernize Yunani system of medicine with radical changes in the system of education. Foundation of this college was laid by Lord Harding, the then Viceroy of India in 1916. And it was inaugurated in 1921 by the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Another prominent name that goes into annals of Indian Yunani is of Hakim Abdul Hamid who during the 20th century made huge contributions in modernization of Yunani drug industry. Further, Hakim Abdul Hamid 
also stressed the need of modern methods of teaching the Yunani system. Yunani in India has witnessed phenomenal growth in every sphere of its existence. The Indian systems of medicine and homeopathy, including Yunani system of medicine, got a boost in 1969 with the Government of India establishing Central Council for Research in Indian Medicine and Homeopathy CCRIMH, to promote research and scientific activities. The dissolution of CCRIMH in 1978 and establishment of separate Central Council for Research in Yunani Medicine gave new wings to Yunani research in India. Result was obvious. Today, CCRUM, with its headquarters in New Delhi, has 23 different centers spread across the country, which includes two central research institutes of Yunani medicine at Hyderabad and Lucknow, eight regional research institutes of Yunani medicine Chennai, Bhadrak, Patna, New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Aligarh, and Srinagar, two regional research centers of Yunani medicines at Allahabad and Silchar, and six clinical research units of Yunani at Bhopal, Burhanpur, Meerut, Bengaluru, Kurnool, and Edathala. Along our Hakim Ajmal Khan Institute for Literary and Historical Research in Yunani Medicine and Drug Standardization Research Unit at New Delhi, Drug Standardization Research Institute at Ghaziabad, one chemical research unit at Aligarh, and one clinical research pilot project at Imphal, Manipur. Council has two co-location centers in allopathic hospitals at Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital and Deen Dayal Upadhyay Hospital, New Delhi. One more unique distinction to CCRUM's credit is the Ayush Wellness Clinic at President Estate. The Council's research program includes clinical research including safety and efficacy of Yunani drugs, validation of the fundamentals of Yunani system of medicine, drug standardization and quality control, survey and cultivation of medicinal plants, and literary research. Before conducting the clinical research, the experimental safety and efficacy of these drugs has been established first. CCRUM has conducted pre-clinical safety evaluation studies on 96 drugs and studies on pharmacological action on 64 drugs. Council has achieved significant progress in treatment of vitiligo or burrus, eczema or narfarsi, psoriasis, dos sadaf, sinusitis, iltihab e tajavife anaf, rheumatoid arthritis, vajual mufasil, bronchial asthma, zikun nafas, and hyperlipidemia, kasrate sahamuddam. And council has also undertaken clinical studies of many other diseases. Council is also validating the safety and efficacy of Yunani pharmacopoeial drugs through multicentric studies. Studies on 25 drugs has been completed and under progress on 76 drugs. Council has also developed 16 drugs for common or seasonal elements. CCRUM has also conducted over 50 studies, short-term and collaborative, with other scientific organizations, medicinal institutions, Currently, there are more than 500 licensed pharmacies manufacturing Yunani drugs in various parts of the country. Besides, Indian Medicines Pharmaceutical Corporation Limited, IMPCL, a government of India enterprises, is one of the major manufacturing units of Yunani drugs. Other state governments and private pharmacies are also manufacturing and marketing Yunani drugs. Yunani drug manufacturers have gone for value-added researchers and production change modernization so that they can match people's expectations. So be it research or manufacturing, packaging or transportations, all of them have virtually adopted modern means to be with the time. For Indian Yunani drug manufacturers, added responsibility comes with the name which Indian Yunani system has earned in the foreign markets, especially Middle Eastern countries from where the system had originally come to India. Application of modern means are surely nudging out all that which made Yunani system of medicine look obsolete. In the end, today's complete picture of Indian Yunani system of medicine has all that makes it beautiful, better researchers, well-tested drugs, superior diagnostic and treatment approaches and modern technologies, and to top them all, the government support.
No doubt, future of Indian Yunani system of medicine is heading for a glorious spring.